Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Um, I'm gonna do a drugstore tutorial for you. Everything I'm using is from the drugstore, like CVS, Walgreens, Target, Walmart, all of that. It's in the affordable section. I do have a little bit of Ulta stuff, but it is like the affordable Ulta stuff. <laughs> um, so let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna prime my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose Primer Serum. Realized that I don't have very many primers from the drugstore. And it's not because I don't like drugstore primers, it's just like I've gotten so many like little ones or even some big ones from like Ipsy and BoxyCharm that I just, I usually don't buy <laughs> drugstore one. So I had to do a little, a little searching. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Freshwear. This, I will be honest, is not my favorite, guys. It is super liquidy. So a little kind of goes a long way. I'm going to add a drop of oil to it, though. This is the Elf. Enhancer drops, I don't know if you can see it. There you go. The elf enhancer drops. Um just cause just cause. <laughs> but yeah, this is absolutely not my favorite foundation. But I didn't want this just yet to be a whole face of like wet and wild, so I had to find something in my stash. One of the things that I really don't like about it, though, is that it's scented. There's a scent in here. It's like a floral scent. And not that, like, my skin is super sensitive to it. It's just, like, is it necessary, huh? Like, that's more my question. So, like, to me, I don't think the, the scents... Like, some things, sure, add a little bit of fragrance to it. But if it's so overwhelming... That people can't get past it. Like, really, is it completely necessary? Tell me, what do you feel about scented makeup products? Specifically, like, foundations. Because, like, I don't mind... I don't mind the, um, like, Too Faced scents, their stuff. You know, chocolate, peaches, uh gingerbread sugar cookies, things like that. Like those are some scents I know for sure they've used. Like I don't mind those completely. So like they don't bother me because they actually dissipate very quickly. But like this one, I gotta get that chin make everything even. Um, but this one is just like, oh, it reminds me of no offense to old ladies, but like old ladies who put like 15 pounds of <sighs> perfume on. I'm going to conceal with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I'm using light ivory and light medium beige. The light ivory is just like a tad too pink and a tad too, too light. Um... And then the beige one is kind of a little too dark. So I like to mix them together. So it's not a bad concealer, it's just their shade range is kind of abysmal. But that is 
one thing that I know a lot of people feel, but it is a drugstore, and I know that they've been trying to be better and more inclusive, but, you know, it is what it is. And if you couldn't tell, I was up until like two o'clock in the morning. My daughter decided not to go to sleep last night, so I'm not, not all fine. I'm not fine, right? I'm not firing on all cylinders today. I'm gonna set it with the Wet n Wild press powder. Set my lids as well. I'm also going to bronze and contour my face with the Wet n Wild Icon Bronzer and Sunset Strip Tees. I'm going to highlight with the Master Chrome in Molten Rose Gold. Molten Rose Gold. There we go. So, like, if you really like a blinding highlight, as you can see, this is one. It's one of the best at the drugstore. Um, I believe all of their shades are. Um, I haven't tried all of them, but the ones I have tried are really good. The only one that I have that I'm not 100% a fan of is the peach one. And that's mostly because it's got like chunks of glitter in it and it's super noticeable. So that's only, that's really the only one that I'm not a super fan of. As I really love highlighting my nose, in case you hadn't caught on to that. It's my favorite. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. It's like the peachy one. I took off the name, so I have no idea what it's called. I'm going to use the Rimmel London Magnify Eyes Jewel Rocks palette. I've heard wonderful things. So I'm going to prime my eyes with this Morphe Eyelid Primer. It's, this is this comes into the ooh, that's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. This comes into like the affordable side of things, not actual, like, drugstore. I'm gonna go in with this Ulta Single Shadow, Single Shadow in Sable. This is the only like non drugstore type thing, but it's relatively inexpensive. So I'm going to use this as my crease shade. So 
So I normally always set my primer, my eyeliner primers, because it's usually like generally concealer. But I know the thing to do these days is to not, so I'm testing that out. If you could live anywhere, no matter the cost, where would you live? Because honestly, I would probably move back to California if it wasn't for the so many things as to reasons why we left California. That's where I would live. I'm a California girl through and through. I'm just going to keep it simple, but I'm just going to go in with this ooh, copper shade right here. Just make it a one, two, two shadow look for the upper. And I always like to use my finger for metallics and shimmer shades. I think you always get really the most payoff. sure how I feel about that primer and it could be because I have concealer and powder underneath of it like that could totally be it but I'm not I'm not a fan right now <laughs> gonna be honest I'm gonna go on with a little more sable just to blend it all together. I think to do just like a little fun pop of color, I'm gonna take this teal, ooh, teal shade right here. I'm gonna try and get that on the lower lash line. She is pigment to you guys. And then I'm actually gonna highlight my inner corner with the Milani Loose um, Powder in Radiant. This is definitely um, not really a setting powder, even though it's like marketed as one, it is definitely more of a highlighter. It is very shimmery. I'm gonna highlight my brow in a little bit. I don't ever do this. Like I usually like matte shades in my on my brow bone. I set my face real quick before I put mascara into my brows, and I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And again, this is not officially drugstore. It's more of just affordable. I'm gonna do my brows first. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Micro Brow Pencil. If you cannot tell, I really do like Wet n Wild products. They generally have great products for the price that they are. I'm gonna set that with the Pixie Brow Gel, Pro Brow Gel. Milani Most Wanted Lashes. Oops. Oh, 
I meant to curl. So we're gonna give them a little bit. So I'm gonna finish this look off with the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, you used to be able to get these at Walgreens, but not, not so much anymore. So I'm not 100% sure where you can get them, but they're basically like a, they're like um, Wet n Wild in that they're really inexpensive. And that's the final look, you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Hit the notif notification bell if you want to be notified of when I upload. And I'll see you in the next one.